morning. It's uh, good morning. That was aggressive. Sorry. It's uh, um, Monday. I, I think it's Monday. I should check these things before I wake up. Good morning. Uh, we don't know the winner of yesterday's giveaway just yet because the video hasn't posted yet. I'm up before my alarm, which is a good feeling. I'm really hungry now that I've stopped running, which is not a good feeling. Uh, it's one of the things I've, I've discovered. If I go for a run before I eat, I can go and I'm fine. But as soon as I stop, my tummy wants some rumbly in it. Makes no sense. I'm sorry, Winnie the Pooh. Anyways, I'm off for a run here. And then I've been debating whether or not I do this today going to Saint-Chapelle because Saint-Chapelle is reopening today and I wanted to go like immediately. There are a bunch of places I want to go, but I really want to go see the stained glass. I haven't seen it in probably seven years, something like that. And it needs to be viewed. I, I mean, I got to go see it, right? So that's going to happen soon. So, you know, just to keep you on pins and needles. Obviously, if you've seen the thumbnail and you read the title, you know whether or not it's happening. I don't know whether or not it's happening yet, but I have to meet with Kate this morning and I have a meeting with Brian in the afternoon. So those things can throw it off. Mondays are kind of you know, add mini businessy days, which is really exciting, I know. So with that, let's uh, finish the run so that I can go eat something. How was your waffle? It was delicious. Delicious? It's the first waffle I've had since the first day of uh, when we got out of lockdown. Perfect. All right, Kate and I are off to do a little bit more work. We got some work done there, uh, but all the sticker supplies for my patrons are back over at the new office. Kate needs to get uh, some chocolate, among a few other things. It's a thank you gift to a family friend of hers, or some, a family of friends. I don't know how to put it that. Anyways, uh, so we're gonna get that and then we're gonna go back. And speaking of patrons, I wanted to thank today's patron producer, Melissa Webb. Thanks for putting this together. I've got another meeting this afternoon, but then I'm gonna go to Saint-Chapelle as my plan. So you get the Saint-Chapelle episode, Melissa. Thanks for sending me there. I really appreciate it. And uh, in the meantime, we're gonna get some chocolate and then a little bit of work done and then uh, hopefully lunch. Because she just had a waffle, but I'm hungry. Very hungry. <laughs> wondering you and Dixie your packages have made it this one just got here today I'm just saving them I'm gonna open them like sometime this week when I'm uh, feeling like opening some packages you know when I need a little pick-me-up that's the plan so they got here both there's I think there are two packages from you and one from Dixie thank you guys I'm preemptively for sending them I appreciate it <laughs> We have a lot of extra postcards, so for the last, we haven't said anything about this for the last couple of months. We've been sending out some extras, so. Five. Last five months, we really kept this a secret. Anyways, hopefully, uh, if you're a patron, you appreciate just a random extra postcard coming your way, because we've got some really good ones that were just sitting around not doing anything, so, you know, you try to make them work for you, but they don't do that, so. Anywho, I'm gonna go, I got I got this meeting, then I'm gonna go to Saint-Chapelle, so for those of you that are patiently waiting, thank you. Gonna get off that meeting, go to Saint-Chapelle, and that's gonna be your your delicious treat for the day. Maybe I'll put, I'll put more, I'll be sure to put more of that footage at the beginning just to make sure that you know that it, it, it's really happening. Justice, so it's the Supreme Court of the land, and that right next to it is Saint Chapelle, built by Louis the Ninth, the Saint Louis, as you might know from Saint Louis and a number of other, you know, Saintified, Louisified things. He built this building to house the crown of thorns, which he purchased for an ungodly sum of money. 
and then dressed in sackcloth walked all the way outside of the city I think something like 60 kilometers picked it up and walked it back barefoot so that's where I was housed until I ended up in Notre Dame until the fire and I don't know where the crown of thorns is now but it was basically a giant jewelry box it's kind of cool so I haven't been inside for a long time we're gonna go check it out now obviously if you want to get in what you got to do is you know Keep an eye on the fact that this is the court. You don't want to end up in the court, but the entrance for both is just down here. So you just want to make sure you get in the right line, which is what we're going to do right now. It's on the left-hand side, I'm pretty sure. At least it used to be. So we'll find out here again in a second. If you end up in the line on the right-hand side, uh, you know, you have to go to jail. Just kidding. But yeah, you don't want to end up in that line. Anyways, I bought my ticket online. It was really easy. It was like 11 euros and 50 cents for a skip the line ticket. So that's what I'm going to try using now. I'm going to put my mask on and uh, let's go inside and see the beautiful Saint-Chapelle. Quick security check, simple, in. Uh, I was here early, but they still let me in with my ticket, which is great. I don't think they're going to reject me in here. Not very many people around, obviously. Pretty sure this is built back when this place still served as the Royal Palace as well, which explains why it's here in the middle of what's now a giant uh, police station and courthouse. Um, but wow, just these, these buildings right next to it are also really, really interesting. I need to go into the conciergerie. I've never been in there either, but uh, let's go inside. It's so small, and there's it's really extra nice that there's nobody in there. It's really quiet. Definitely chill in there for a bit, and catch it on a really sunny day. But there's gotta be a perfect time to see it. I don't know. Anyways, I'll talk outside. I feel like I shouldn't talk too much in here. Merci. Au revoir. That was awesome. I've never been in there when there were so few people. Genuinely felt like re reflective. The church was built in the 13th century. That I wasn't sure about. And one of the fun facts about it that, <laughs> that but I forgot about before going in was the relics weren't just the crown of thrones. It was also others involved in the Passion of the Christ. But the, the cost of the relics was more than the entire cost of construction of this place. Which is insane. That was really nice. I'm glad to see places like this are opening up again. Also, how do I exit? This way, apparently. Okay. The exit wasn't the most obvious thing. Just kept walking and until I found a gaping, a gap in the gate. There are a couple of exits here. I guess you just take whichever one you want. Got a bonus look at the Palais de Justice there. It's really nice, just in case you couldn't hear me through the mask there. What that amazing chapel, which was the place of worship for the palace, when this was the palace on the island, before they moved to the Louvre. So there you go. There's a little bit of, uh, you know, fun Paris facts for you in the midst of, uh, the slow reboot 
of the museum scene. There are other museums that are open, other places that I'm looking forward to going here soon. And uh, yeah, I just wanted to pop in there and check it out. It's only like a 30 minute visit once you're in there. You can obviously sit and just kind of be reflective for a while if you want. There are a few chairs in there, which is nice and I took advantage of for a minute. And yeah, they were really friendly. They definitely are wishing that they had more people popping in more regularly, but uh, I'm afraid that's just the way it's gonna be for a while, so. Definitely worth 11 euros and 50 cents either way. One of the other fun facts that I forgot to mention, there are a ton of other references to the crown of thorns. And you can actually see at the very top of the, like at the base of the spire, sort of at the top, hard to see through the trees there, there's a crown of thorns right there that the spire springs out of. I think I might be having wind problems for that, but I really like pointing that out when I take people around and show them, just because I think it's those little details that go by unnoticed. Sorry about the wind. I almost completely forgot. Trivia, book giveaway trivia. If you missed this uh, yesterday or the day before, doing a book giveaway, if you answer the question in the comments below and you're the first one to do so accurately and you haven't already won, uh, then you, you'll, you'll get a book from Jody. He'll send it straight to you. So uh, here we go. This one's a Twitter trivia question. If you follow me on Twitter, you might already know the answer to this. Who is it that I thanked uh, just a few days ago, maybe about a week ago? on Twitter, and what did I thank him for? I wrote like a, a very long, basically gooey love letter to somebody on Twitter that I've never actually met in person, but to whom I owe a great debt of gratitude. So who was that? And why did I thank them? You, I'm sure you can figure that out pretty quickly. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed today's video. I hope you enjoyed a little bit of a wander through Saint Chapelle. It's a very small, very short visit, but really nice, and it just feels good to be able to go back into a place like that and, and pay it a visit, and I'm really excited uh, yeah, just to, just to have a moment to do that. So I'm looking forward to taking some more slow strolls through some more cool places that are going to be relatively empty, theoretically, in the not-too-distant future. So be sure you stick around for that. And uh, yeah, I'll see you bright and early again tomorrow morning for yet more of this nonsense. And I hope you're doing well. See you tomorrow.